Everybody follows someone or something. Put another way, we're all disciples. The question is not, are you a disciple? It's who or what are you a disciple of? I know what I just said is wildly unpopular in the modern era. We aspire to be leaders, not followers, to be unique, not like everyone else. We want so badly to believe that we control our own destiny. But the truth is, we all follow. All I mean by that is we all aim the attention of our mind and the affection of our heart at someone or something that we think or we believe will make us happy and bring us peace. And whatever you aim the trajectory of your life at will determine who you become, for better or for worse. I am one of many people around the world and down through history who has found Jesus of Nazareth to be the best way, truth, and life on offer. To follow him means to apprentice under him. It means to reorganize your life's priorities around three driving goals, to be with Jesus, to become like Jesus, and to do as he did. It means following what he called the way. It means slowing our life down to his pace of love. It's subtraction, not addition. It's doing less, not doing more. And if you're thinking, yes, I want that, but how in the world did we do this? In the modern era of digital distraction, hurry, busyness, exhaustion, political polarization, the breakdown of the church, I wrote this book for you. I believe the future is ancient. It is practicing the way of Jesus. Thank you.